Hey guys, welcome to my new tutorial. I've been asked a few times how I'm running Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 on my Mac. So I thought I'd make a quick video about it. I'm into music video production and Stable Diffusion is just a great way for doing that. I will leave a link to my music channel down in the description, just in case you're interested. A few notes before we start. You will need quite a powerful machine to run Stable Diffusion, especially when you're into video production. In my case, I've got a MacBook Pro M1 Max with 32 gigs of unified memory and 32 GPU cores. Stable Diffusion works quite well with that configuration and I think that even a less powerful machine would do quite well. I also own a PC with an NVIDIA 3060 video card, 32 gigs of RAM and 12 gigs of VRAM and it's mostly quite comparable to my Mac. Still, at very very demanding tasks I prefer the PC, I have to confess. Anyway, let's dive into the installation process, which is quite straightforward. If you are into video production, you might also want to install some more extensions, which I will not cover in this video, but I will leave a link down in the description. Also, the whole installation process will be listed down in the description, so you can just copy and paste the commands into the terminal app. Ok, let's start. First we need to start the terminal app, which is pretty much comparable to the command app in Windows, though a lot more powerful. Press command space on your keyboard, enter terminal into the search bar and then hit enter. A new terminal window will open and we are ready to start. First we need to install homebrew, just copy the text in step 1 down in the description and paste it into the terminal, just like you can see it here on the screen. Now hit enter and the installation process begins. You will be asked for your password, just enter your login password on your Mac or hit enter if you haven't got any. The password won't be visible on the screen while you type it. Now just follow the instructions on the screen and wait patiently until the first step is finished. Ok, we are done. Now we need to install some required packages. Just copy the text under step 2 down in the description and paste it into the terminal. Then hit enter again and wait until it's finished. This step can take quite some time because a lot of things need to be downloaded. Just be patient and wait until it's finished. I'm speeding it up a bit so we don't have to wait so long. Ok, we are done. Next we will install Automatic 11.11 on your local machine. Just copy the text under step 4 or down in the description into your terminal and hit enter. This will also take some time, but after it's finished we are ready to go. Ok, we are done. Let's clear the screen by typing clear. And let's open a new finder window by typing open space dot and enter. We are now in your home directory and when you scroll down you will see that the new folder has been created named Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now open it. Before we can run Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 for the first time, we need to download a model. Just open a new browser window and paste the link down in step 4 into the search bar. This will bring us to Hugging Face, where you can get lots of models for Stable Diffusion for free. When you hit enter, the model will be downloaded and you need to save it into your Stable Diffusion folder that just has been created. So, Stable Diffusion Web UI into the folder Models, Stable Diffusion. Just save it there. The file has a few gigs so it will take some time until the download is finished. Ok, it's done. You can see the file with the standard model for Stable Diffusion in the right Stable Diffusion Models folder. If you want to download additional models, there is a great site called Civit AI where you can find lots and lots of great Stable Diffusion models, which you can download for free. 
just click on any of these models, go to download, um, save tensor or pickle tensor and save them into the same directory where we saved our first model. Later on in automatic 11.11 you can choose the model you want to use for your renders. Ok, now let's start stable diffusion automatic 11.11 for the first time. Go back to your terminal, type cd stable diffusion web UI, that's down in step 5, so you can just copy and paste it and hit enter. Hit ls and enter to view the contents of that folder, that's like the dir command in Windows. But before we start automatic 11.11 for the first time, I want to change some basic settings in order to optimize the performance of Stable Diffusion on your Mac. Go back to your Finder window, into your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, find the web UI-user.sh file and open it with text edit. There is a line export command line args, which we need to change. Remove the hyphen in front of the line and paste the text under step 6 down in the description, just like I did. If your Mac doesn't have much memory, maybe a Mac M1 with only 8 gigs of RAM, then paste the text under step 6.1 instead of it. Now hit Command S to save the file and close it. Back to our terminal, type dot slash webui dot sh and hit enter. And with this command, automatic 11.11 will be started. So anytime when you want to work with Stable Diffusion, open the terminal, change the directory to Stable Diffusion Web UI and type dot slash web UI dot sh to start Stable Diffusion. Automatic 11.11. .11. To stop Automatic 11.11, .11, you just need to hit Ctrl C in your terminal. As we are starting Automatic 11.11 .11 for the first time, it will take a while because some additional files and programs have to be downloaded and installed. But later on it will start rather quickly. Just let's wait until the final installation is finished. I will speed it up a bit so we don't have to wait for so long. Ok, it's done. You can open it with your browser by copying the address you can find on running on local URL. Just paste it into your browser and here we are. Let's just quickly see if it works. Just type in a prompt, maybe an astronaut on Mars of riding on a horse. Hit the generate button and wait until it's finished. Back in your terminal you can see how it's processing the steps. It's finished, now click on the image to get a bigger picture. And if you only want to create images, that's basically all you will need. If you are into video production, like myself, I would recommend that you install some extensions, especially the forum and ControlNet. I will not cover the installation in this video, but I will leave a link down below where you can get them. And if you have any questions about it, just leave a note in the comments and I will answer them or make a tutorial if requested. So that's all for today. I hope that this video can be of some help for you and I see you next time. Bye for now.